out. So this is the meal, right? Hi! Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, it will be about our field activities that we have conducted during the summer. So field activities relating to agriculture can only be conducted during summers, especially here in the northern part of America. And since this is my first summer here, I decided to record some of our activities during this season. So if you're interested, Please continue watching the video. So, ayan. Ito yung hall. Mayroon silang auditorium. Classroom, of course. Ayan. And then, mayroon din graduate student offices. So, dyan yung admin office ng department. And let's go to our office. Fourth floor. So thank you Palapawi and Maclay PH for the keychains. If you want customized keychains, ang galing nila gumawa ng mga request mo. So yan. Um, peas and corn. And so ito yung door. Nilagyan nila ng papel sa so, ewan. Ayaw lang nila nung may mga nakakasilip or ewan. Hindi ko alam. Hindi naman, hindi ko din naman abot yan. <laughs> Tapos... This side is Lucas, so he was part of my video or my vlog. Yung um, international students um, try Filipino food, so if you wanna check out, I will put the link below. And then dito, wala pang nakarating. And then here would be Joe, he's also part of the video, so... They are both Brazilians. And then Michaela. And this is my table. <laughs> Ang galing lang kasi meron kaming individual basurahan. And then, yung recycling stuff. So, ilalagay mo dyan yung mga papers. Kanya. Pinovide ng project. Thank you, sir. The lahat. So, um, screen, a monitor. Um, ito yung charging dock. So, ilalagay mo lang dyan yung laptop and then mag... Dito na ang connections lahat. And nati-charge na din. So, yun. That's it. That's our office. Graduate student's office. One major activity that we did this summer is pollination. So, back to our basic biology. Pollination is defined as the act of transferring pollen from a male anther of a flower to the female stigma. But we also learned about parts of the flower. So we have the male and the female part. So male part is called as stamen or stamen. Paano ba pinapronounce yan? Stamen, which is composed of the anther and the filament. And the female part is called pistil, which is composed of the stigma, style, and ovary. So we also have learned about perfect and imperfect flower. Perfect flowers means perfect. You have everything. Walang kulang. Nasayo na ang lahat. Perfect flowers have both male and female parts inside of them. On the other hand, imperfect flowers have either male parts or female parts. 
but not both. So we also have complete and incomplete flowers. Complete flowers has four flower parts, which are the petals, sepals, stamens, which is the male part, pistil, the female part. On the other hand, incomplete flowers are missing one or more of the four parts. So in our field, in plant breeding, it is very important for us to know more about our crop. If it is monoecious or dioecious crop, monoecious plants have both male and female flower in one plant. The male and female part can be on the same flower na nasa isang plant or it could be on a separate flowers in one plant. So for example, corn. Corn has the male part which is the tassel sa taas and the female part which is the ears sa baba. But it's in a separate flower but it's still in one plant so it's monoecious. Another example is rice. Ando na ang male and female part in one plant. So it's on the same flower. So these monoecious plants are known to be self-pollinating because they don't need other plants. They already have the male and the female part in one plant. So it is self-pollinating. Dioecious plants, on the other hand, have female and male flowers located on a separate plant. So di means two separate. So sa isang plant, andun ang female. Sa separate plant, andun ang male. So it's dioecious plant. They are naturally cross-pollinating. Since they need more than one plant for them to reproduce or to pollinate. So as a breeder, why do we pollinate? And even we know that we have these natural pollinators, which ranges from physical agent to biotic agents. So physical agent would be the wind. So pollen can be transferred through wind. And then biotic agent means insects or animals such as bees, butterflies, flies, animals such as bats, birds, etc. To answer the question, we pollinate because we wanted to create or to develop new crosses, new lines, or shall I say new varieties. And we usually assign varieties or lines that we wanted to use as female and male. And we cannot request that to the natural pollinators na, uy, eto ha, dito mo dapat kunin yung pollen. Lagay mo dito kay ganto. So we are here to pollinate. The method of pollination varies from crop to crop. That's why it is very important for us to learn about our crop. Since we are working now with bees, monoecious, naturally self-pollinating, it has perfect flower and complete flower. So I will share with you how we pollinate the field bees. We used kneeling pads, forceps, eppendorf tubes with alcohol to, to avoid cross-contamination of pollens, the sequence and thread for tags, markers, and apron. So the challenge of cross-pollinating a naturally self-pollinating crop, you need to do the pollination in a perfect timing since you have to choose and assign flowers to be used as female and male since the pea flowers has both male and female part on it. For choosing female flowers, you should choose a flower in the budding stage. Bud stage for a female flower is optimum for emasculation. So emasculation means removing the male part of the flower. So the kill is slit by inserting just the sharp tip of the forceps. Anthers are removed by grasping the filaments with the forceps and carefully pulling. So for the male flower, a good pollen source is when the flowers are starting to open. So that would be a perfect male flower. So we picked the male flower, open it, and brush the pollen to the female flower. A tag will then be placed on the pollinated female flower, which includes the cross number and the date.
tips of other activities such as tissue sampling, harvesting, and field days. This is male. All these are pollen sacs. Okay. Uh, these these have a strict XY chromosome, oh. so you have separate female female plants. Okay. Yeah. week's vlog so if you enjoyed this video please click like and if you haven't subscribed yet sa channel ko please click subscribe till next time buyers Bye.